Hey guys, and welcome to Minecraft Clinic, where I show you how I play Minecraft. Right now we're heading down a tunnel um, that I made. This is one of the first things that I made, because um, it kind of, when I first dropped on the game, I was on the beach out by some water, and I just started digging into land. Basically, uh, what I'm going to do in this video here is I'm going to show you um, some of the different things that I've made in Minecraft um, to kind of get you up to speed because I plan on doing videos of uh, projects in progress. So, um, yeah, so this is going to be kind of a catch up to show you what's been done so far. So, my first uh, little structure. Um, the soul sand and the netherrack was added, of course, later, but anyhow. And here, this is the main room. A little bit of crafting and smelting there. And if we go upstairs, I have a little top area, like a little pool. There's some lava out there. I just thought it looked cool, no purpose or anything. And storage. The floor here is glass, so you can look down on the main floor. And the ceiling is glass too. And I added a lot of fire. Because lights and fire have a way of keeping enemies at bay. <coughs> So we'll go ahead and head out. Oh, there was something else I forgot. This area down here is kind of neat. Did an underground forest here. And put some flowers in there as well. And here's the nether room. Go in there and enter the nether. And then down there I've got a mushroom garden. Anyhow, I'm not going to go in the nether because uh, there's some stuff in there that needs some improvement before I show it to anything. Alright, so back up the stairs here. I think eventually I'll probably replace those blocks with actual stairs so it's easier to go up and down. Alright. Head on up over here. This is the second area I started developing. Found a little bit of sugar cane and basically turned it into a lot of sugar cane. Go ahead and head over here to the pyramid I did. It's kind of like a uh, farm pyramid. Go inside here and basically just farm cactus. And then, if you get bored, you can go down here and farm more cactus. This area used to be a um, used to be a dungeon, and then now it's <laughs> part of my cactus farm. All right. Head over here and check this out. Basically, what this structure is is um, three layers. It's made of glass. The first layer that you can see there is lava, of course. And above that, that you can't really see, is actually 
a layer of water. And then on top of that, obviously, more water. Come and see it from another angle here. And go inside. Just like a little room, nothing much to it. Not yet, anyway. Alright, and this is kind of like the second main headquarters of the area. It's got storage. Cactus. Sometimes it kills uh, animals that come in, or or, um, or enemies, or sometimes you just farm it. Go ahead and head on out. And that is a loot machine. I looked up the idea on YouTube and I can't remember who the original guy was that came up with the idea, but um, it works great. Mine is a little bit smaller than the size he recommended. Mine's about 40 by 40, but it still, you know, gives me enough. And I thought it would be kind of funny to put uh, two beds here. <laughs> and sometimes when you sleep, it's like. Are you going to get hit with something or are you not? Because sometimes you'll get like an archer shooting down at you and wake you up from sleeping. Go ahead and head over here. It's kind of like an interactive uh, bowling type of deal. Um, it's got ice on the ground there and these just shoot out random crap that I throw in there once in a while. And uh, since it's on ice, the way you play it is when you shoot something out, you're trying to get your object as close as you can to one of the pins. And so it's like you can have like three people playing if you put this on uh, multiplayer. So you push that and then sometimes it goes, sometimes it actually bounces off, you know. And then for comparison, you can do that. See it went a little bit different. And the same with this one. So the only thing is you'd have to figure out which one of you was unbiased enough to be able to score it. <laughs> Alright, so as we head down here, this is the little colony I built. Put some cake out there because I thought you know, a cool little backstory for the colony would be that uh, one of the people living there was like a chef and like just loved making cake for some strange reason. This building here is just kind of a relaxing building. It's got some art. Come up here and then you see that the stairs, all of the buildings are connected by um, kind of stairways that arch over the roofs. Up here is kind of like a security building. Since it's got a glass floor, you can look down and see what's going on. Creepers, archers, or zombies. And then you can come out here and if you have a bow and arrow, you can arch them. Oh, let's jump down. So, um, I have quite a few wolves, but I just don't take them with me, because they are pretty rare, at least they are to me, um, I don't come across them very often, so, um, I just keep them parked at whichever complex I'm closest to. But anyhow, about these buildings, um, this one's crafting and smelting, you go in there, and you do that, that building's identical, it's the same thing. This is the storage building. 
just a bunch of little chests. And this building and that building are both for sleeping. Just bed and that's it. So uh, kind of a small, basic village area. And this is a statue that I've had for a while. Um, although it keeps getting ruined by creepers exploding. And every once in a while they'll fall from that building I put up there. And it was supposed to be one of the monster dropping devices, but it never worked properly. So it usually never works, or, or when it does, it'll drop a creeper and they'll see me and explode. I'm going to go and head over to the bridge. another dog that sits out there. This thing's kind of cool. Sometimes during the night there'll be creatures there, even during the day. And I've got about 10 guns in there, all connected to the switch, and so anything that gets in front of there will just get obliterated. Um, if anything decides to trail over this way, I've got about three more guns there and then two more over there connected by this switch. But as you can see, the only annoying thing is that it activates the door as well. I haven't figured out quite how to um, solve that yet. But if you have an idea, leave it in the comments. This is the inside of the cabin. Um, got a smelting deal there, got a chair. And then uh, lava underneath. I thought it would be kind of cool to have a transparent view of the lava as part of the floor. And here I got um, just my storage, basically. And then this is a storage pretty much for food only. And then at some point I'll cook these raw ones and add it in, but that's my food chest. And then, yeah, then you gotta have the uh, glory hole there. Alright, let's go in the bed. This place kinda has a backyard to it. Um, a table and chairs. Kinda like a backyard type area. Leave that. I got a little side door here. All right, this thing is probably one of my best things that I've done, in my opinion. Um, this is the dragon slide. Came up with the idea in my head, and then um, just sort of did it. Really. kind of like doing that. Up here is my treehouse. It also has some guns. Except they're pressure plate guns. Got a chair there, a couple of beds. Um, this here is from the collector. Like over time I just started collecting all the stuff that it drops. And so, haven't really done much with it, but I'll probably.